Hey, Madison, glad to see you, Sky. Nathan, you're promoting you. You look great. How are you? Feel great, Nathan. Two wonderful weeks out west in Nevada. Beautiful place. Beautiful scenery, healthy climate, and I've been for 50 G's at Blackjack. 50 G's? Yeah. Gonna be in town long? No, I'm flying to Havana tomorrow night. Havana? Yeah, they got a lot of action down there. You wanna come with them? Well, I got a lot of things to do. Say, like, Meatown, how about dropping over to Mindy's for a piece of cheesecake? They sell a lot of cheesecake. No, I ain't hungry. Tell me, how's that? Happen? Oh, fine. Still dancing at the hot box. And I suppose one of these days you'll be getting married. We all gotta go sometime. Nathan, we can fight it. We gotta remember that no matter how pleasant a doll's company may be, she must always take second place to aces, back to back. Yeah. Tell me, you hungry yet? Maybe we could go to Mindy's and have a piece of cheesecake or strudel or something. No, I think I'll catch the late results. Oh, but you will admit that Mindy has the greatest cheesecake in all the country. I'm quite partial to Mindy's cheesecake. Who wait? And yet there are some people who prefer Mindy's strudel. Oh, man, which do you think he sells more of? The cheesecake or the strudel? Well, I never really gave it much thought, but I guess if everyone was like I am, I'd say Mindy sells a lot more cheesecake than strudel. For how much? Huh? For how much? Why, Nathan, I never knew you to be a betting man. You always take your percentage off the top. Well, for old times' sake, I thought I'd give you a little action. Now, I'll bet you a thousand dollars that yesterday, Mindy sold more strudel than cheesecake. Nathan, let me tell you a story. Oh. When I was a young man about to set out into the world, my father came to me with some very valuable advice. Some of the old guy says, I'm sorry that I'm not able to bankroll you into a very large start, but not having any potatoes to give you, I will now state to you some very valuable advice. One of these days when you travel, a man is going to come to you with a brand new deck of cards in which the seal is not yet broken, and this man is going to offer to bet you that he can make the jack of spades jump from the top of the pack and squirt cider in your ear. But some do not bet this man, for as sure as you stand there, you're going to end up with an ear full of cider. Now, Nathan, I'm not claiming that you've been clocking in this cheese. You game. don't. However, that. if you're really looking for some action, I will bet you the same thousand. You do not know the color of necktie you got. Well? No bet. Right. Blue! What a crazy color. Nathan, we just don't bother you! Hi, Sky. Hey, how are you, fellas? So bad. Nice and nice, thank you. Oh, Nathan, we took Adelaide to the drugstore, and she says for you to pick her up after the show at the hot box, and don't be late. Yes, dear. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, dear. That is husband talk if ever I heard it. Nathan, you're trapped. And Adelaide, you got the kind of doll that's most difficult to unload. But I don't want to unload her. I want the Adelaide. And a guy without a doll, well, if a guy does not have a doll, who would haul at him? Are dolls a necessity? I'm not putting the rap on dolls. I'm just saying a guy should have them around when he wants them, or they're easy to find. Not dolls like Adelaide's. Favorite weight for age. All dolls are the same. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> then how come you ain't got a doll? How come you're going to Havana alone without them? I like to travel light. However, if I wanted to take a doll with me, there are a large assortment available. Not real high class dolls. Any doll, name her. Any doll in my name her? Would you bet on that? Would you bet a thousand dollars that if I name a doll, you will take her to man tomorrow? You got a bet. I name. Daddy, I got cider in my ear. 